And uh, um, the Glasgow School of Art has um, uh, a truly magnificent historic history. And it's uh, uh, one of the wonderful things about history is it gives integrity to the, your education. And when you leave, it's a passport to open doors into a future. And Glasgow School of Art is recognized throughout the world um, for, its, uh, for its successes. But the measure of its success is its students. It's you guys. It's the people who join the course. So we have uh, um, this uh, set of expectations, I suppose, which all of you uh, have the opportunity to share with us. Coming to Singapore and uh, the um, uh, partnerships that SIT have are very impressive. I think you're very, very lucky people. Their, um, SIT have made some fantastic choices with partner institutions. And this is our first year uh, in 2012. So we're with this, we, we are um, in very good company. Um, and without losing humility, uh, we are also very, very good as an institution. And I think that uh, when students study with us in Glasgow, when you walk, there's, there are the steps in that previous slide, just here, there are steps, and the steps to the Mac, steps to the Macintosh building. When a student comes, when they are accepted onto our program, when they walk up the steps, it's a rite of passage. It's the beginning of a new life. It's the beginning of, um, uh, for us, four years of study in Glasgow. For you guys, it'll be two years of study. But it's a big change, very big change, in the way that you um, uh, see yourselves as designers. Um, so yeah, so founded in 1845. There's a, there's a, I refer to this as the encrusted brooch. Uh, we have a huge history, and the encrusted brooch of success is, a, is wonderful. It glistens, and it sparkles, and it impresses, but also it can weigh you down. It's a kind of history that weighs you down. So Glasgow School of Art not only has this history, but it is very contemporary in the way that it deals with design. Uh, uh, our graduates find work, are employed by the, uh, the best agencies, uh, they are creative thinkers. And although the skills factor in their education is very important, it's also to, the, one of the skills that we focus on is the skill of creative thinking. So, design studio. The, our studios don't really function like uh, a classroom. There, we try to make the studios as close to a, um, a, a professional practice environment as we can. So cups of coffee, music, people talking, lots of laughter, um, uh, breakout areas where you can uh, interrogate with your colleagues, with your, uh, with your um, peers, your own subject area. Soft seating, comfy chairs, sitting down and just playing with your ideas is, is an absolutely integral part of our studio practice. Uh, we, we try to encourage collaboration and interdisciplinarity. The world has changed. We are no longer just a graphic designer. We are no longer just a photographer. We are no longer just an illustrator. We have to be all of those things and the spaces in between. We do have this is to talk about woodblock printing, typography. We do all the stuff that you would expect to find in a design, design school. You will be taught about typography and layout and design and publication, a print for publication. We, do, we cover all the things that you would expect, but we have greater expectations for you because it has to be meaningful. It's not enough to do something well, which should never have been started. You need to make, a, you need to make your work that's significant and makes a contribution. Uh, but this is, we're asking you to do what comes naturally to you. Just, just let your creativity go. Unlock it. He, he said, <laughs> you've got the project, and it, 
you know, it was really simple. He was drinking the tea, and he took the tea bag out and thought, that's a good idea. It doesn't have to be hard work. Design can be really simple and easy, but it always have to ha has to have a significance. It can't just be designed for design's sake. Um, this was about the recession and everybody walking up and down the high street being miserable. And you're looking at things. I don't. Uh, in in the UK, we have uh, men who sell uh, newspapers, and often it's three killed in Tesco's, or a man commits suicide, or uh, uh, the end of the world is nigh. It's that kind of depressive series of statements. And this student wanted to um, make it make people feel slightly better in a time of recession. Um, and I'll take the one on the right. In times like these, the recession, it's good to remember there have always been times like these. This is the nature of life. It will be bad sometimes. But creatives help the regeneration of optimism. That's what we do. That's our task. And that's what we would expect of you, uh, our students, is to make the world a better place. This is a whole series of music videos. Us, we would expect our students to be involved in interdisciplinary activity, multimedia messages. If, you're, if you come in with a hat on saying, I'm an illustrator, we'll take the hat off and give you three more hats to try. And I'm a, oh, I'm a web designer and a graphic designer and an illustrator, and I don't know what else I might be. We want you to be multifaceted. And this is, these are examples of work where uh, students are, if you illustrate, or if you take photographs, why not become an animator as well? Because digital technology facilitates that. What, and if you can do animation, you might as well make a film. So you do one piece of work, you've got three different outputs. Why not? And that's what we'd be encouraging you to do. We don't want you to just be this mono-cell individual. We want you to be multifaceted. This is, again, we, we like the empowerment of students. We want you to be part of uh, our our program and you for the most part design what it is that you want to study so if you want a folio that's all animation we will help you do that if you're not sure what you're going to do we'll give you the opportunity to experiment and explore new things if you haven't got a methodology for creativity or a way of producing things we will give you one we will but it's not a, an add-on it's using your own creative base to extend from so that, this is what we do. We do it really well. And it's what gives our students the edge. You know. The course currently has a, a, a very international flavor. One of the, the exciting things for us, again, is uh, the, the specific location of Singapore and the proximity to a, a huge percentage of the global population and a diverse um, range of cultures. Glasgow, we are on the edge of the northernmost part of Europe and we're on the periphery, and we're in a, a Victorian city with lots of um, residual building space that needs to be reinvented. Singapore is much more um, dynamic and um, visibly growing, shall we say. So there's a very interesting cross-cultural comparison to be made between the two cities, which I think we can harness and have, again, this very uh, complex conversation about design culture. section is on um, some of the uh, live and uh, industry partners that we, we work with. So Ben Kelly, you may know, very important British interior designer. Um, probably uh, the work that he produced in the, in the 80s was the point where interior design began to really assert itself as a specific discipline in its own right, separate from architecture.